tail in the way. Hi everyone, it's Jane Orvian and we are back for another OSCE x-ray session. So this time I am going to show you some thoracic x-rays, depending on how long they take. I might actually do it all in one video because remember we've got the same collimation points that we want. So we've got our thoracolumbar junction, so the line of the last rib, and then through to our zip sternum. We've got our manubrium up here, and we've got skin, so dorsal ventral or mediolateral skin surfaces, sorry, lateral skin surfaces. So if you were doing a DV, this is one that I've mentioned before, to be watching out for the fact that it will look like you are taking an x-ray of the back of the dog's head. You're not, because when you roll him over, that's where your manubrium is so remember that also you've got the backs of the shoulders that will give you a nice view and remember we don't want to have any rotation so this dog actually sits quite nicely like this i think there's a comment that says you want the dog's legs to be crouched at the back so that they look kind of normal like that it's as normal as probably he will get and that's what we need to do for the back end. We need to prevent him rotating. I know he isn't, but you want to be perfect because you want to be able to look from this end. If you can see, I've moved up to the front, sorry, our grid is moving, and I want to be able to look at this end and go, he is straight from head to tail, and at the moment he's not. So what I would advise for this is avoid using wedges under the thorax because our patient's quite light, the wedges are going to raise him up. If you remember my song from before, please don't raise me up so I can sit on wedges, don't raise me up on wedges and sandbags too. Obviously you can sing that to your heart's content. So my advice would be for a DV, you want sandbag at your shoulder, sandbag at shoulder, and I would do them at hips too. So where the legs are crouched underneath, and what you're getting there is you're getting support, but you're getting support external to the wall of the rib cage. So this sandbag is not going to appear in the image, and that's really important. I'm going to move our patient down a touch. Amazingly, you can collimate in a little bit, and you can collimate in side to side. And then I've left a little space for my labelling. So your uh, manubrium, last rib, diaphragm, skin surfaces, so MLS, many last stands would be your mnemonic for this. And if I 